Welcome back. Now, Trey, with baseball and softball knocked out for the week, let's yep. take a little trip up to Stevensville. It's two lacrosse programs with so much history. Yeah. Caesar Rodney making the trip over from Delaware to take on Ken Island, who won back-to-back -back state championships just a few years ago. And right off the face-off, Ryder yeah. strike first. Jamie Harrington from distance puts the blue and gold up one nothing early. And from there, it was the Demetrius Stevenson oh, show. Volleyball kid. there with the snipe Look and then the absolute kid. rocket from the Rutgers commit. And then here he is dishing Whoop. off, splits the double team oh somehow, finds Kale Shanner for the backhanded scoop. Oh, Riders up bro. six to four at the half. Second half now, Bucks starting to make their comeback. Future Towson Tiger, Sean Mooney with the bounce shot, narrows the deficit to three. And then in the fourth, Mooney once more, this time from distance, his sixth goal on the night makes it a nine to seven game, but CR, a state semifinalist in Delaware last year, they have the answer. Shanner puts the icing on it from around the cage. Riders, they move to 3-0 and with a 12-10 victory over Ken Island. To get this one early, you know, it really builds the confidence, you know. And if, you know, we get tough situations like we did kind of at the end of this game, you know, now, I mean, we, we can kind of look back towards this and be like, you know, we didn't fold, we didn't quit, you know, we kept fighting. So this is this kind of a learning experience in a good way. And so that's, at the end of the day, that's what we want to do. We came in confident. We came in knowing what we had to do. We just, we just knew we had to execute and, you know, end result, that, that's what we did tonight, so. Thoroughly impressed yes. by that kid. <laughs> Over to Lewis now. Kate girls hosting Queen Anne's this afternoon. Kate coming out of the gates fast. Aaliyah Marshall weaving through the defense. She's going to break a 1-1 game to give her team a 2-1 lead. In the rain, could not stop the Vikings in this one. Give and go finds Kaylee Truitt wide open in front of the cage. Kate goes up 8-2 at this point. Right before the half, the Lions trying to make a splash now. Haley Crawford in front of the net. Kate would still take an 8-3 lead into the halftime break. Second half, Sawyer Walker would take over. From Goodness, the X position behind the net, she's going to back a <laughs> defender down, fire one home. That was too easy for number 22. And then almost from the same exact spot, getting through the double team, fighting through it, and still getting a shot wow. off. Her two second half goals propel Kate to the 11-7 victory to stay undefeated. Do you think anybody's going to be able to take them down this year? Nine straight <laughs> state championships. I, I feel like we say that every yeah. week, uh, but we have to say it. It, it. They've been winning state championships literally for 10 years in a row. That's that's just crazy. What were you doing think? 10 years ago? Let's see. I was 12 years old. <laughs> Kate was winning state championships. <laughs> I think I was in what, sixth old. grade? <laughs> that's going to do it for high school lacrosse. Coming up, we take it to the collegiate level. The real SU Ooh, in a, a shot. top five matchup this afternoon. Uh, in Salisbury, highlights coming up next. Hi, this is Demetrius Stevenson from Cheese Riding High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Inside.